teachers as human beings. We're born what she likes to call us last word type people. In life, we always have to have the last word, don't we? I remember the first time my mom said that to me, and I was like, well, that's not me. <laughs> my mother used to say, if you can, quote, retrain your brain to become a second to last word person with kids, second to last word. For your whole career, you'll get yourself out of almost any argument or any power struggle that ever comes your way. Because arguments and power struggles are about the last word. The kid doesn't want to bet in front of their friends. The teacher doesn't want to bet in front of the class. And so they argue. And my mother used to teach us that our last word is the teacher is the word thanks. Thanks is a great last word. And it goes like this. I believe I saw you drop that piece of paper and I would appreciate if you picked it up. Thanks. Gone. As I'm walking away from a kid, what will some of them do under their breath as you're walking away? Yeah, they do the mumble grumble under the breath. You know what the mumble grumble is, right? Where you say knock it off or cut it out or please be quiet and you start walking away. And as you're walking away, don't certain kids do something like this under their breath? Psst. Whatever, Mr. Man, you're such a <laughs> hate your guts anyways. Don't be the one. Y'all know what I mean by being the one. Don't be the one who says knock it off, cut it out, please be quiet, turns and walks away. Kid mumbles, we get to hear, and we actually stop. And we turn, and we ask the single dumbest question ever invented in the history of education. What did you say to me, young man? Or what did you say to me, young lady? Because you already know what they said. And the last thing you want them to do is repeat it. <laughs> 